Hi guys, this is Patrick and uh, I was browsing uh, the App Store this week and found out that the uh, App Store is actually showing a new category called Get Productive and in this category uh, there's one app called Workflow and it's really amazing. It's currently available for $2.49 in the Canadian store. Uh, it's currently 60% off of the reg regular pr price, which means probably usually this app does uh, cost like $9.99, something like that. And uh, what it does is it lets you uh, script or automate the uh, all kind of actions. So uh, from the, uh, the screenshots we have on the App Store, you can create a PDF, uh, you can make a GIF, uh, you can create a calculator for tips and stuff like that. So I was curious and uh, at $2.49, yeah, I bought it. And this app is really amazing. You can do a lot of stuff. Um, I'm going to show it to you right here. So when you launch it, uh, the first thing you'll uh, you'll get is kind of a tu tutorial. So just play with it, and uh, once you've done the tutor tutorial, uh, you'll be able to create your own workflows. I'm gonna show one that I created, and this is really neat. Um, when uh, when you create a new workflow, you have all kind of actions available. So show all. So you can play with dates and events from your calendar. You can uh, automate a call, uh, use your contacts, uh, make automate a face call time. So basically what you could do is uh, create a script that will uh, automatically call someone uh, of your choice or a phone number. You can do a lot of stuff. It also interacts with uh, third-party apps like uh, this one. It's called uh, Venmo. Yeah, Venmo. Um, it does work with Evernote and Dropbox so you can create documents and share them and uh, add them to your Dropbox account. You can uh, create a PDF, as I said earlier, make a zip. There are a lot of actions you can do with Workflow. And uh, you can interact with maps, addresses, uh, get travel time for uh, a destination or for from your home. What I did on my iPhone, I used that action to calculate uh, the time the time travel f from my current location to uh, my home and to uh, post that uh, using iMessage to my girlfriend saying, hey, I'm I'm going to be home in 20 minutes, wherever I am. So just with a single click of, of a button, I'll, I will show that to you a little bit later. Uh, you can interact with your music, uh, with photos and video. Uh, I won't be able to show it to you in this recording because uh, I'm currently capturing with QuickTime and whatever the uh, image, the, the uh, photo uh, screenshot is showing up, uh, the recording stops. So I don't know, probably a technical glitch or... I don't know, it does simply stops recording. So if I want to complete that recording, uh, you can do a, uh, you have scripting also with uh, conditional like if and uh, something looking like a while. It's actually called repeat. Where is it? There we go. Repeat with each. There's a lot of stuff you can do. You can run a script over SSH to a server you have in your network. Uh, you can share over AirDrop, Facebook, post uh, Instagram, uh, share to something else, uh, send via iMessage or uh, even to Twitter like that. And you have uh, options also for text. So we can combine text, uh, correct your spelling. Um, this, there's so much available. You can scan... Uh, QR code and uh, simply uh, do something with it and you can also interact with the web so those actions are quite uh, amazing there's a lot of stuff you can do here is one I did myself which is post all actually it's posting something to Twitter um, I created this script and it does accept a URL as an input because 
each app, each workflow you create, you name it, you give it an icon, you can add the script to your home screen so it will look like a native app, if we can say that, or you can define it as an, an action extension, meaning it will be available from the sharing menu uh, like in Safari. So I created this one. What it does, it does accept a URL, a URL at the top. So it will use that URL. And then what I did is I created a text and inserted in there the URL to be eventually posted to Twitter. So if I use this one, I'm gonna go in Safari. There we go. So this is one of my website, Screen Studio. If I click the share button, I go here and I have a run workflow. I click on that and it will share the URL to this extension. I click there and then the script will run eventually, like in a few seconds. Should Did I click? Yes. And there we go, it's processing. And there, then you see my post to Twitter is ready. Check this out, this URL with the hashtag I did put in there. So you can combine, you can add photos also in your post. Uh, you can uh, actually grab pictures from the website to share with your link. So the combinations you can do is actually amazing. Um, I did create one gift me uh, does take five photos I won't execute it because uh, if the, the 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 photo viewer is actually uh, being shown on my iPad the recording will stop but trust me it does work so it takes five photos and from the font camera as you can see here we'll create a gif and then I'll be able to have a quick look at how it looks and then send that to my girlfriend uh, over iMessage just for the fun of it. So uh, I created this and I say, okay, I wanna have that on my home screen. So I simply look, uh, click here. I have it, uh, gave it a name, gave it an icon, and then I will say add to home screen. And then Safari will open and it's saying, add this URL to your home screen. So simply add and then you have your own native app. It's not actually a native app, but you get the idea. And then it's ready to be uh, used. So all I need to do then is click that icon here and the, uh, the script will be uh, executed, whatever I do with it. So um, it's really an amazing app and software developers will love it. You can really do a lot of stuff with this. Uh, if I go here and go in the gallery, there are already uh, some uh, workflows available, uh, like get the lyrics from, from the current so song you're listening to, um, change photos to a GIF, uh, speed dial. Let's click on this one. It's uh, actually easy. Uh, type in the phone number and then Simply call that phone number and you can keep that on your home screen. Uh, you can speak a text, a text that you've captured. Uh, you can order pizza. If you take, okay, look for a local business related to pizza and then you have uh, a list, probably it will pick the first one and then call that automatically. So you don't know where you will be calling, but wherever you are, just click that button and will be able to call uh, somewhere to order a pizza. Um, airdrop screenshots, uh, upload last photo, uh, image of the day. If we see, look at this one, image of the day, it does go to this RSS feed, get the content of the web page, get the, ima the images from the input. You can have a quick look and then choose from a menu, save image or share. If you save the image, then save to camera roll. If you share, then invoke the share menu. You see that there's a lot of stuff you can do with workflow. 
it's actually amazing one that i really like is music timer simply say okay uh how for how long do you want to play your music and then you'll input uh something in there do some math calculation and then play the music and wait you have a timer say wait for that amount of time and then simply pause the music so you can say play music for 20 minutes uh, before going to sleep and the 20 minutes later your music will stop by itself uh, you can have a file downloader get from clipboard get content from URL save file into your iCloud drive the possibilities are endless you can do a lot of stuff a tip calculator of course it's basically those are just uh, scripts that uh, are available as native apps already but you can create your own to do exactly what you want uh, let's say that uh, you have posted something on your blog and you would want you you, you would want to uh, post that to Twitter Facebook uh, like in a single click then you would create a new workflow and then you would go here and say um where is that? i think it's the, at the bottom get rss feed you input your url for your rss feed for your blog and then you would say um probably get the first one and uh, post that to twitter like that probably it's more complex than that but you get the idea that you could interact with your rss feed and then post that to twitter and then uh, invoke the share button and then also uh, post to Facebook in almost one single click. And that's it. Hope you liked that video. Uh, please leave your comments below this video. And uh, as usual, see you another time. Bye.